Meantime, Metro Detroiters have been honoring Dr. King during events all over the area, from Pontiac to Farmington Hills to Southfield and many more. Tonight, the focus moves to Detroit's Fox Theater for a program called Let Freedom Ring with Rainbow Push founder, the Reverend Jesse Jackson. Paula Tubman joins us now live outside the theater for more on that. Paula? Yeah, hi, we're going to have a little bit more on him in just a moment. I think some people could argue whether or not Detroit is an actual seat of the civil rights movement, but you certainly can't argue that we are certainly a very close chair given everything this area has done to move civil rights forward. And you could really feel it in the momentum and the kinds of celebrations we saw today. Perhaps the irony in Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s dream is that to see it, imagine it, work for it, live it, and achieve it, you must be fully awake. The dream of equality and being judged by the content of character instead of the color of skin has taken on new meaning with the climate of the nation. I'm living in his legacy. I was never alive during the time that he was alive, but the life that I live is because of all the work that he did and all the other organ organizers during his lifetime did as well. I love the fact that we have equality, that we can be together in schools, we can be together in restaurants, we can be together. I love that his dream has carried on, that it continues to grow. Obviously, we've come a long way from where we started, but there's still a lot, a lot of work to be done. And I feel like MLK has um, established just a, a ground for that, a precedent for that. Um, and now in modern day, we hope to continue that as well. June 23rd, 1963, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. practiced his famous speech in Detroit first at a march. Now the second thing that you can do to help us down in Alabama and Mississippi and all over the South is to work with determination to get rid of any segregation and discrimination in Detroit. And Beverly was there. I have this picture, I pulled it out last night. Um, it was very interesting. For her, the dream is something she still dreams for. It's hard work to be done because the people that was there, that did it, they no longer with us. So. I'm hoping that someone pick up the pieces and keep keep it moving. At Dawson Elementary and Middle School in Detroit, a day of activities for children and their adults, including honoring Judge Kyra Harris Bolden, Michigan's first black female to sit on the state's highest court. <laughs> and a mural unveiled in her honor also honors the dream of Dr. King. Being the first black woman to sit on the Michigan Supreme Court, I think is an awesome achievement, but it has taken until 2023 for us to get to that point. So we are moving forward, uh, but there clearly is much more work to be done. And I think that this is a wonderful day that exemplifies that, celebrating the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I'm just so honored to be here. I'm just and to be alongside our first black woman on the United States Supreme Court. I think that everyone brings a perspective and a lived experience with them when they're interpreting the law. And I think that's why representation is so important. Having someone that has a similar lived experience and perception of life uh, really makes a difference when you're interpreting the laws in the state of Michigan. Yeah, so we also mentioned earlier, Karen did the MLK celebration at the Fox Theater, Jesse Jackson, Reverend Jesse Jackson, pardon me, is hosting it. Not in great health, everybody. Not in great shape, but still gracious enough to sit down one-on-one -on -one and talk to me about where the dream is and where it's going. But also Kem, Billboard artist, Grammy winner, uh, musician, fascinating conversation with him, talking about how, but not for Kem, uh, Dr. King, he couldn't even eat at the places he performs. And we'll have that part of the story coming up at six. Fascinating perspective. Fascinating, Karen. Look forward to those reports. Thanks so much, Paula. We do appreciate it.